legend, born and bred in Burbank, California. I was in stiletto, trick or treat, and fatal attraction. Fatal attraction, we were vampires, we drank blood. Real. <laughs> How do you start? Uh, Kiss. I got into Kiss. Kiss was like my first band that I was into. And then my uncle took me aside and said, no, no, no. Alice Cooper is the original one of that stuff. So he started playing the Alice Cooper. I'm like, oh yeah, that's... So I got into Alice Cooper, and then from that, my uncle was nine years older than me. He's like my older brother. So then he got me into Sabbath, and then I'm like, this is what I gotta do. This is what I gotta do. So I started taking lessons at, when I was like 10 years old, and then when I was 12, I started taking them from Randy Rose. I lived just over on Amherst. When he took off, I took him from George Lynch, the guy that was in uh, Dawkin, for two or three lessons. I didn't like him. <laughs> then uh, Craig Turner, and then I split, and I got my own band. And my first band, big band, was Stiletto. We played all over the strip. That was my learning curve. Then my next band was Trick or Treat with Mandy, and we got huge. Within like three months, we were all into Satan and had crazy songs like... Uh, Black Mass. A lot of growling like that because he'd do the growling. And then that lasted for like six months until he got $5,000 from this band Kingdom Come and he joined them and then he got kicked out in a week and he's nothing. So my next band is Fatal Attraction. We were all vampires. And so that was our thing. I wrote all the songs for that band. We had fangs, you know, full-on makeup. I call us glampires. And then uh, we went and toured all around Southwest, Texas, Nevada, New Mexico, all over the place, California, everywhere. And, uh, you know, people bring us pig's blood and mirrors to make sure they couldn't see us, but they could. And we said, dude, it's just a myth. But one girl came up to me and went like that and opened her vein and said, drink it and I'm like and everybody's standing around so I, uh, I started drinking that and that was in 89 or 90 and I'm thinking AIDS is the way that everybody's scared of dying from AIDS and I'm drinking this girl's blood but it impressed everybody at the after party didn't do that again <laughs> but uh, after that you know I played that out until uh, grunge took over and then pfft, and then I played until I was 30 and then got out of the business. But got signed to a little, you know, indie label and we toured. And it was cool. But like I said, you know. Yeah, use the internet. <laughs> use the internet. There's no such thing as making it in music by getting a recording contract. You can do it by getting a following on the internet and touring. Touring is where the money is now. And merchandise. I still, you, know, you can get signed to any label. Any little indie label. Just go, but practice, practice, practice. That's what Randy Rhodes told me. Practice, practice, practice. All the time and develop your own style, your own sound, which he did. And so did I, I think. You tell me. Cool? Late. <laughs> Thank you.